morning, everybody. Good morning. It's the Circle Life and Business Show, and uh, I'm Lynn Pelzer. This, these are my co-hosts here today. We look a little bit smaller, don't we? Just as powerful. That's oh, Heather Meeks checking our sound check. There. <laughs> and this is Louise Martinera. Well, today we have a topic that I think is massively important for all of us, and, and it's something that I think as you grow in different areas of your life, you kind of realize how important it is. You get trapped into some of the wrong priorities, you know, not yes. putting up boundaries, things like yes. that. And it's really, really helpful. So I hope that this is going to be helpful to a lot of people that might be struggling with this and some of it's going to resonate with you. Um, I know we both have some great stories around this. I'm going to maybe share a little something first. Uh, for me, boundaries came into play really early on when I started network marketing because I was working full time and I was a mother with two small kids. And um, I made a decision that was huge and that was that I was only going to go to the house one night a week. But can I tell you, I announced that to everyone in my team and do you think people still asked me more than once oh, or not? <laughs> and did that continually go on? For years it did so um, I guess I was going to tell you that when I started laying out those boundaries I actually really struggled with sticking to them I felt mm -hmm. guilty yes I thought why are they asking me mm -hmm. I felt angry that people kept asking when I was like I already you know had this strength and courage to set up the boundary can you just respect it so there's kind of two parts to it as well right you can set it up yeah. but not yes, necessarily do people you know, respect it, or even they just think, oh, well, I'll just ask one more thing, I'll ask one more thing, and it's like, it can drag you down big time. Absolutely. We're just saying how no, yeah. no is a complete sentence. Mm -hmm. yeah, you don't need to is. justify, you don't need to <laughs> right. tell can you go out on Thursday? No. I'm not telling you why. Maybe I'm working, mm -hmm. maybe I'm not. It's just no. You know, I mean, yeah. these are things that you need to be able to, to say, and to stand to, mm -hmm. and to realize that, you know what, for whatever reason, um, you set that priority, whatever else you find more important than doing that, or even if you just want time for yourself, mm -hmm. yeah. right? That um, you can feel free to do that. You're within your own rights, right? Absolutely. Right. And like just like just like Lynn was saying about the guilt factor, I mean, I know personally, um, it it took me a really long time to to get rid of that feeling, like almost like I was letting somebody down, yeah. you know. Um, and I felt like I always owe somebody the explanation. So I'd be like, I can't do this. I can't make it because of X, Y, Z. And just like you're saying, no is a complete sentence. It really is. And people need to respect that. You know, you are going to get a lot of pushback from people because ultimately people are looking for that. But why? Mm -hmm. I think What's you their agenda? Well, <laughs> exactly. Even within yourself, though, I think sometimes it's important to set your priorities. You know, where you're like, wow, I'm so excited to do this, but can I fit it? Or, you know, I really, this opportunity That's has presented right. itself, you know, I mean, whatever it might be, there might be, you know, you're invited to a concert on Saturday night, but, you know, I might have a client at six, can I really fit that yes. concert in after it? Probably not, do I want to, sure, and how do you shuffle that, and how do you make sure that, you know, you're able to do both things, right? Mm -hmm. I think that comes down to priorities as well, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. And Tracy, Tracy Evans is not here, one of our co-hosts today, because she's, she's teaching a course, and of course, that's what she needs to do. And Tammy isn't here because she's on a well-deserved vacation. Yeah, Anybody who knows that well girl, deserved. she works her tail off. She really does. Yeah. And she gives a lot to people. I, I would love if she posts something in the comment about, here, about this, too, because I am pretty sure that Tammy has had to say no a lot. I think people ask her a lot of favors yes. and a lot of things to do because yes. she's so knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bet she has a lot to say about that too, so we'll ask her to chime in later too. Good morning, ladies. Yeah, good so morning. There. Morning, Lisa. Morning, Celia. Celia, hi. Thanks, Thanks for joining. And I think both of these girls, I think, are moms too. I think that there's a special, an extra point I'd like to make with that where also mm -hmm. that kid guilt Oh, I, I have mean, kid guilt. Kid guilt. I know kid nothing guilt. about no. kid guilt. Nothing. No, I never had that. 
Never show your hair about feeling bad. bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, right? I mean, where you have to get the office. Or in my case, I work predominantly evenings and weekends, so, and just trying to to be at soccer or to be at the school function or whatever it yeah. might be. I said, when you have to be somewhere and service your client, I mean, this is also <sighs> yeah, a and challenge. It's, and it's making that decision sometimes around. You know, my, my family needs to come first this time, but sometimes you have to, you yeah. know, your business, you're growing it for your family too, right? Mm -hmm. So there's that balancing we'll say, yeah, The love of my life is real estate. Of right? course. <laughs> so I, mean, I really yeah, love right. what I yeah. do. And I yeah. get to the office and I'm doing what I do and I lose track of time and I'm like, oh, I should be home or I should be eating a meal or something. And, mm -hmm. and there's a guilt, but there's also a satisfaction which then I feel even worse about. I'm like, but I'm actually happy doing this here, right? He said, even though I love my children more than anything, I'm also torn, right? There's a and you're providing for them, right? Like you're changing yeah. their destiny, really. By you know, you probably changed your whole family's a little bit, yeah. Uh, legacy. Is that right? Yeah, 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 for sure. You, yeah, you, yeah, changed it. you had to work until it to do it, so I get it. Heather, do you have a story about that or, or um, something that's helped you I, I don't know work if I, it? Yeah, I don't know if I necessarily have a, a story. Well, I probably do, but just thinking top of my head. But, you know, speaking of those things, I think, I think it's really important for us to focus on things that bottom line are going to move the needle, are going to serve us, and are in alignment with, you know, what we're working towards, our goals. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it kind of, oh, sorry, it, it sounds kind of, well, I don't want to say it sounds mean, but when it all boils down to it, we have to focus on what is serving us, mm -hmm. what makes us feel good, what we're aligned with. And if it's not going to move us forward or have an impact on our bottom line, don't do it. <laughs> No. Like it's as simple as that, right? Like it's like yep. don't, don't do it. And this. it gets easier when you start practicing it, you know. For sure. Okay, so these ladies said yeah, that definitely. no is a complete sentence, and I remember the first few times where I said no and stopped myself from continuing, and there was a bit of like uncomfortable silence, mm -hmm. and it felt like a long time of silence to me. It was probably like it a few was, seconds. Yeah. yeah. And in, in my head, I was thinking some things like, well, what are they going to ask me? Why? Then how do I respond? Or can't you just? And they didn't. And I soon realized you actually don't have to say a whole lot. Sometimes you do want to give an explanation. It depends how much that person has respect. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or how far they are in their own sort of journey of mm -hmm. growing Absolutely. through all this stuff, too. Yeah. You talked about goals, so I wanted to just share something that um, – has worked for me around boundaries and alignment and all that kind of stuff. Awesome. And that is setting goals. So I do something at the beginning of the year. I don't know if you guys do, but I do it actually between Christmas and New Year's mm -hmm. at the pool. <laughs> it was part of my vision <laughs> statement hard. years ago, that, or part of my vision, not my statement, but my vision of what I wanted to be doing at that time of my life, at that one week in the year. And mm -hmm. so that's what I've been doing for a number of years. And I actually take a whole afternoon to write out for the whole year the goals that I want, yep. review last year's stuff, what did I do, what I need to do differently, and I actually break it up into quarters. So um, when I do that and then I get asked, which I definitely, and you probably both do too because you have a big network, mm -hmm. get asked a lot to attend things, to um, help with things, yep. and lots of things you'd really love to do, and it actually is in alignment right. with you in, on the mm -hmm. inside, and that's probably mm -hmm. why they're asking. So, like, you'd be great at this. Like, could you just come and give me a free whatever? I'm never going to hire you, but can you just... And you're like, well, I'm so I love real estate. So I, I love you. I offered a job selling skincare. She was like, I think you're you're right. You would be good. I'm like, thank you so much. Sure. Yeah. But real estate. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Really but hard. but I'm saying you don't want to turn those people down because you're flattered too, right? And, so and you are flattered, but you have to say no. And I, yeah. for me, it's multiple times a week where I get asked something. Will I do oh, this? All of that. Do yeah. And so and and it does kind of hurt my heart a little bit. 
for uh, sure. Often it does because yes. I wish I could because yes. I actually like to do it, but I just yeah. don't. Or else I'm going to suffer. My family's going to suffer. My business is going to suffer. Um, but anyway, when I come back to those goals, and if it doesn't fit in, it doesn't fit in. Yeah. So I only attend one thing per quarter, meaning like go to a workshop right. or whatever. Or a conference or whatever. Because I do them myself. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can only go to another one. But I like to continue to grow. Mm -hmm. So I have one per quarter. So if somebody asks me, I'm going on tomorrow. So if somebody asks me during this quarter, I'm just not going to go. Yeah. Because that's what's already it's written out for me. Yeah. That's it. Anyway, that's my suggestion. If anybody's kind of wondering how do you do it, when you lay it all out, it could be just for your family. Right? Yes. It may not be even yeah. around business. Mm -hmm. For people that aren't working a business like that, they go to a job nine to five. You still have all these other things going on at home and, and sort of what do you want to accomplish in the year, right? With your family, your house, your life, your yeah. whatever. Yeah. I think having so, it written helps. down is incredibly important. It's I accountability think. to yourself. Definitely. Zelia had mentioned it's sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. And sometimes sacrifices in the form of not watching your favorite TV show you know, like little things that you're used to when you're trying to grow a business, those things have to take a back seat, right? I didn't have cable for years. Right. I wanted to grow my business. Yeah. yeah. Even now, I still don't have cable. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm mm -hmm. sorry, we have Facebook Live. Yeah. <laughs> Is it right? Online. And it's uncomfortable, you know, sometimes for us to, to sacrifice Listen. those things, right? But at the same time, I have a Grey's Anatomy way back then. <laughs> that was <laughs> my <laughs> show. Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, it was. Like, like eight years ago, I loved that show and I was working full time and starting to build a business. And I was like, mm -hmm. how are you going to do it? I'm like, well, that's an hour right there. Yeah. Week. Cause we had a saying, it was called, there's no BV and TV, which is business volume. There's no business volume, no BV and TV. Maybe that's a whole other subject <laughs> of organizing and finding time, but, um, alignment. Like how they say there's yeah. no Maserati commercials because the people who can afford the Maseratis aren't sitting and watching TV. Right. No, right. That, yeah. So that's right. Right. Yeah. really important. Yeah. And what about alignment? Like, where does that come up for you in stuff that you like? How do you make choices around it? Or is it really obvious when it comes up? Or do you have to I am an incredibly decisive human. I yeah, know I get that human. Human. yeah, do you get that? Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, so I really don't have those problems. I have a problem. Um, communicating it sometimes and yes. I, I communicate yeah. for a living mm -hmm. yeah. um however i'm like okay i know that i don't want to do this or i know that i do want to do this now right. if i know that i don't want to do something how am i going to tell you that without hurting your feelings right. or without feeling guilt because i want to help you right i yeah, would like exactly. to do things yeah. Yeah. um and it's not that it's just i know my path and, and i think that when you know your path like for me i'm very strong in knowing my path and i think there lies, um, like as Ellie was saying, to sacrifice, but not to sacrifice, to sacrifice your feelings or hurting somebody or guilt or, you know, I really like, I mean, even this weekend, there's a fundraiser coming up. I get asked to sponsor a million things. I try my best. Mm -hmm. um, I try to be very active in my community. Um, my daughter's actually having surgery on Thursday. I thought maybe oh, I could wow. still fit in yeah. dental surgery. Yeah. I thought, okay, maybe I could still fit that in on Saturday morning. I'm trying, trying, trying. Mm -hmm. And then I had to say regrettably no. Because you know what? I just I just can't. I mean, I need to be there for her. I also have the business weekends are very busy for me. Saturday, Sunday, we generally open house. I said, so that saying no to a girlfriend of mine, you know, for a fundraiser for her child where I want to be there, there's a little bit of guilt in that, you know? I for mean, sure. so I think... Um, but knowing who you are and what you stand for and people recognizing that too, knowing that, you know what, she probably would be here, but maybe she has something else so that when you say that, no, yeah, it's not, with love. it makes sense. It like you can, you can say it with love absolutely. and care and absolutely, without, you know, for yes. some, it's just no, you don't need to say anything else, mm -hmm. but you likely for your friend would give a little bit of explanation, yes. absolutely. Yeah. right? Yes. Absolutely. Try. We always try to help where we can. And but also... If we ask, we if we are asking others to do something and they say no, we need to just respect that too. Oh, not say anything yes. more. Yes. Everybody has a reason. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Are, we, are we at our time? I think oh, we are. Yes. Yeah. That went fast. That was fast. Thanks everybody for joining. I want to say a special shout out to uh, Tammy and Tracy 
Uh, we missed you guys today, yes, we and we'd love if you throw some comments or questions. They we're going to check this back, and we will see you again in two weeks on the circle. Cheers! Cheers. Happy Monday! Oh, yeah. oh, and Thanks for joining us, Lisa and Celia. Oh, we're still there. Still there.